Okay. And I will mute. Sally, that's good to know, you know, just in case. So, right. <laughs> Karen, yes. I, um, I'm just going to be in and out a little. Max got a slight fever last night, so okay. he's confined to his room. Oh, <laughs> so I'm going to make him a quick smoothie and come back. But, and the doctor's going to be calling him, so I might be in and out, okay? Okay. Are you worried? Um, yeah, he was in bed all day yesterday, and then he had a fever of 100.6 last night. So cool. yeah. let's, hope, let's hope nothing. <laughs> all right, I'll be back. All right, let's see. Uh, hi, Becca. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. All right. Uh, lie down on your back and draw your knees to your chest. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Carlson and Mary. And circle your knees all around. And raise your hand if you also were sore from yesterday. I was sore. Yeah, right? It was a strangely like sore. I'm not able to see more at once. Maybe if I do, ah, oh, there we go. Better. You too, you're sore? That's just a finger, Lisa. I can't hear you, you're muted. Can you see me when I set everything up? Or am I up too high or too low? How you, what's the best place to place the arms? Um, can you see me whenever I'm out there? Sometimes, not always. Okay, just wondered what would be the if best place. If you can't see you, I can't see you. Well, then obviously not seeing me much. Okay, <laughs> I don't know. I can see you sometimes, yeah. You have but, to angle it so that you can see you. Is it better to put me down low on the floor? Or up on the, how, how are oh, people, I, I don't know. I have mine up on a step ladder. Oh, I see. Yours is up high. Mm -hmm. Would that make a difference? I wonder. I never thought of that. Okay. okay. I have it on a block. Hmm. I think high is better. Okay. Well, good. I'll try that. Um, extend your left leg up to the sky and flex in point. Start to break up some of the stiffness of the body. And the next time it's flexed, add on, give it a little bit of a pull or a massage or a bit of punching behind the leg and the outside of the leg. In fact, let's all do that. So rub your hands up and down that left leg. And then if you can reach the ankle, bring your fingers under the bumps of the ankle bone and rub under the ankle. And if you can reach the sole of your foot, rub between right at the bottom of your first and second toe along the foot and then along the inner edge so line your fingers up with the tip of the inner ankle bone and press up that inner edge of the leg kind of like you're sealing up a pie crust you're just pressing with your thumbs down into the skin tissue and then same up the outside and of course you're getting the opposite side, but use the thumbs on the focus side. And then about four fingers from the outer patella, press. 
and rub. So I'm right here, rub this point. It's a really grounding stomach point. And then release the leg all the way to the ground and circle your right knee. Right and then left. And open the knee up to the right. Flex the right foot. Hold from the bottom, from below, and give it a bit of a pull. Opening the hips up manually by using this traction. I'm also really pressing that left side down in my hand. And then press your leg into your right hand and your right hand into your leg. Get the muscles going. You might feel the pelvic more the right glute turn on. And then keep that activation. Keep the leg there, but move the arm. And notice if it opens a little more. And then press it back to the center. Extend your right arm open. Shift your hips to the right and drop your knee over toward the left. Open the chest. Inhale, reach through your toes and the crown of your head. And exhale, turn your head to the right. Drop your chin. And breathe here. Left hand sweeps the outside of the right leg. Rolling that right hip toward the front of the mat, narrowing the waist. Arch your back, take your spine forward. So there's like this sense of, um, um, it's just like a matic. There's like a sense of the spinal column going forward and almost hanging. And then breathe up into the chest. Exhale out through the mouth. Reach through your right arm, roll to your back. Hold both of your shins, pull in, rock across your back, massaging middle back, lower back. And Christine and I were talking at the beginning, we were both kind of sore from yesterday. Sally said she was, I really was. I had pasta last night for the first time since quarantine, I think, like, like pasta. So I was thinking it was inflammation also, but no, it feels good just to be doing this. You know, this kind of um, different life, you can really look at your food and see its impact. Somehow, more, more analytical time with that. Hold on to the front of the left shin, extend the right leg up, and flex and point. Warming up the foot, ankle. Prepare it for stand poses and life. In Chinese medicine, when you work these lower points of the leg, the belief is that you're working on the upper body. So you're working on clearing the head. One of the points that we press, the outer ankle bone right at the bottom tip, this is for brain fog. Um, I find it really useful, headaches, right here on the outer tip of the ankle. It's called um, UB62, urinary bladder 62. And then we have these kidney points on the inside of the ankle and up the inner leg. And these are, kidney meridian is where our like deep reservoirs of en energy are stored. So we press along the inside of the thumb tips. Oof. And you're gonna feel the spots. You're gonna, there's some really sensitive, at least on me today, spots. And the outside. And use your thumbs like you're pressing into pie dough. And then this really important point, four inches down from the outer patella between the tibia and the tendon, press here. And up between the first and second toe, if you can reach there, it's really good. And then of course the sole of the foot right below the ball the foot is the first kidney point. 
And then release that right leg all the way down, let it sprout roots. And you know, we do that every day, we practice. So you might notice just from those pressure points, those active points, that the leg feels more rooted, that you feel more rooted. Circle the left knee then without it, then without those, that pressure. And go the other way. Me. And then hold from the bottom and pull your leg open to the left. Ground your right hip and pull and add a little traction, knee out away from the body. I'm using my upper back quite a bit. And then press the leg into the hand and the hand into the leg. Flex your left foot, push. Move the hand. Press down through the right side, opening that hip up. And then bring the knee into the middle. Reach your left arm open. Scoot your hips a little to the left. Turn your head to the left as the knee goes to the right. Point your right toes. Reach the crown of the head. Draw the spinal column forward. And open your chest. Let that left shoulder get heavy. Left palm heavy. Turning the head to the left board. Tuck the chin a little bit. Stretch the outer right side neck. And sweep your left hip with your right hand, rolling that outer left hip away from you, letting the waist narrow. Exaggerate your breathing, bathe in it like a tub. And kind of hang into this back bend. Let the spine move into the chest more. Letting this twist break up any congestion, any inflammation. Any sort of conge anything that congealed during the night. And then reach through your left arm, roll onto your back and hug your knees. Hug them in tightly. And then rock up along your spine to and fro. It's really neat when I look at the gallery view of all of you and everybody's just still. There's this, it's so beautiful. And take a cross-legged seat. Pull your butt, your glutes out so that you're directly on the sits bones. Balance on those wobbly. Am I in black and white? <laughs> and sit up tall. <laughs> this is the Wizard of Oz. And lift your torso. Open the front body up. So think of your chest opening like a sheet of paper. The bottom of the ribs open, the top chest opens, collarbones wide, the shoulders roll back and down. And close your eyes as you root your sits bones, lift through the head. You can let your eyes open softly. Draw the sits bones toward each other. Use, I use the outer edges of my feet to get a little more muscular uh, response. Draw the belly in and up. And then take your hands to the head and hold behind your head, fingers at the skull. And think of lifting your head off your neck or stretching, tractioning your neck. Lifting the occiput, pressing that back of the head up, and then slide your fingers an inch to either side of the spine and press into your head there. Push, 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 and it might be sore, and let the head kind of hang onto those fingers, kind of hook on there, and then let the head roll back, lift the chest wide in the elbows, breathe in. And as you exhale, hold your head more steadily, bring the elbows toward each other, very soft pressure, round forward. Pull the navel back to the spine. Inhale, start to lift the elbows, widen them apart, roll the head back into the hands, breathe in, elbows wider. Exhale, elbows narrow, round. Pull the belly in, massaging the belly, the organs, Inhale, open up into a back bend. Arch the back. 
Look up, stretch the front of the chin up. Exhale, elbows close, gentle pressure on the neck, fold in. Inhale, one more time, lift and open. Push the head into the hands, widen the biceps, apart, elbows open, shoulder blades squeeze. Exhale, close, elbows squeeze in, belly in, round, feel the thoracic spine. Maybe start to go down a little bit farther, elbows toward the floor. Elbows go forward, kind of like a snake. The chest lifts up, belly goes in, go down toward the floor. One more time. Elbows sweep forward, high neck to the neck, and up, and snake it. Arms go out to the side. Switch your legs. Opposite leg in front, no hands. You're gonna twist toward your right. Twist toward your right. No hands. Pull the belly in. Activate pelvic floor. See how far you can go using your muscles of your trunk. And then add the hands. Left hand to right knee. Pull your left shoulder back, right shoulder back. Lift up. Turn your left ribs toward the right ribs. Breathe. Breathe. See if you can stay in this twist, pick your hands back up, test it, and start to steer back to the center. Over to your left side. How far can you go? Narrowing the waist, using the muscles within, these tensile muscles, turning, shoulder blades in place, add the arms, right hand to left knee, left hand behind, turn. And Slide both shoulders back, turn, look over your back shoulder. See if you can stay here, pick up the hands, squeeze your middle, and come back to the center. Someone's showing me a sign. Someone showing me a sign? No, okay, that's just Lily. Okay. Not just looking. <laughs> Come back to the center and you're going to lean out to your right side. Sweep your left arm up by the ear, externally rotate, and lean. Pin your left sits bone down. Find those same muscles that you used in your twist. Draw them in. Take your right shoulder back and turn your face, if it's okay, your nose up into your left bicep. Tuck your chin, stretch the back of the neck. Maybe go a little farther. <clears throat> Belly button in. This time, different from today, we're gonna roll forward toward the floor and walk the hands out. Walk them forward in front of you, grip, claw the floor. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, push the floor away, round. So little mini cat cows. In this deep forward fold, inhale, claw and pull the chest forward, building your upper back. Exhale, press, contract the belly. Walk over toward your left side, feel that right sits going down. Find those internal and external oblique. So those, yeah, the oblique angle of the muscles in the belly. And then left hand outside, in line with your left hip. Right arm comes over the right ear as you turn left ribs to right ribs. Reach. Nose into bicep. Tuck the chin, stretch the back of the neck. Claw to pull that left shoulder back. Claw to my hand and reaching out to the left. Pin left sits one down for more activation. Breathe. Turn belly in toward the floor, reaching out, walk the hands forward. Then bring the hands down under the head and drop the head. Breathe into your upper back here. And feel the activation in the back ribs. Loading ribs. 
Lower back. Pull the belly to the spine, roll the rest of the way up. Sweep the arms up and bring the hands down. Touch your body with your hands. Connecting to the earth this morning, grounding with the legs. Settling into the beat of your heart. Letting what no longer serves you drop down. Letting the a sensation of the mind dropping into the chest. Bringing the brain and the head to the heart. Notice that there's some, something bubbling as you get quiet, something bubbling to the surface from the heart. And you may not have words for it. Don't need them. But bring your hands together, press the palms together in a prayer and in an offering. And let this practice be dedicated to whatever that is. Thanks, you guys. Okay, we're going to start with some strength. Come on to your hands and knees. Wag your hips from side to side. Take your hips to the left and turn your upper body to the right, stretching that left side. Look at your right toes. And then lean your hips to the right. Look over your left shoulder. Bow your ribs, so take your whole ribcage to the right. Bow it. And center. Bring your right elbow down and your left elbow down. Hug the tips of the elbows toward each other. You'll feel your back. Straighten the right arm slowly. You're not in a hurry. Feel the muscles in the back and then straighten the left arm. Hug the tips of the elbows in, feel the back. Pull your belly in, squeeze the legs toward each other, activate those lower body muscles, and bring that left forearm down slowly, right forearm down slowly. Hug the tips of the elbows in, belly in, and then straighten the left arm. And straighten the right arm. Walk your hands back to your legs and take your fingers more than we've been doing higher up here, like right under the chest, and, and just slide your fingers toward each other, weaving the these muscles, these fibers in. So wrap your right ribs in and your left ribs in and go all the way down to the waist. Get this wrapped feeling. Hold it in place, and then take your hands back down. Walk your feet back, come into plank. You can always go back to bent knees, claw the floor to activate some muscles here, and then hug those ribs in, those upper ribs, those tummy muscles will support you. Drag your toes toward your hands and your hands toward your toes. And slowly, slowly bring your left forearm down. Bring your right forearm down. Squeeze the tips of the elbows together. Wrap those ribs in. Straighten the left arm. Straighten the right arm. Bring the right forearm down. Take your time, hug that tip in. Bring your left forearm down. Straighten the right arm. Straighten the left arm. Hug those ribs in. Bend the knees, shift your sits bones back. Rest here or in child's pose, claw the floor. Hug those ribs toward each other and lift your bum like a seagull has come and picked up your sits bones and is gonna lift you off the ground. I don't know why a seagull. And then roll your inner thighs back 
and maybe the legs straighten as the heels drop. Yesterday, we did so much lengthening to the upper body. Just notice that here, you might still be appreciating that. Close those ribs in toward each other. And walk the feet halfway to the hands and the hands halfway to the feet. Bend your knees and fold. To add on to the stretch, hold opposite elbows in the palms of your hands. Slide the tips of the elbows forward. Hollow your belly. Hang here. Wiggle a little, letting the sides of your waist, sides of the ribs open. Breathe. Holding with the hands adds even more. Hug the legs wide and sit them. Breathe it. Let hands go, exhale. Turn the, let's do this. If you can, stand on your hands. Put weight on them and start to pull the wrists away from the feet, getting traction to the hands right away. And massage them. Here's something brutal. Bend your left knee, come up onto the ball of that left foot, and then move your foot back and forth across the hand. It's just brutal, but great. Mush your hand with the ball of your foot. <sighs> And if you just want agony, you pull your forearm at the same time. Holy moly, but it really releases the hand. And then do the other side. Bend the right knee, lift the heel, and massage the bones. Yuck. And pull the forearm in the opposite direction. It's just painful, but great. And then put the heel back down and fold in. And then slide the hands out. Walk the feet back to your Plank pose and lower knees to the floor. Extend your right leg back and reach your opposite arm forward. Push down into the floor and close those front ribs and then extend. Bring the hand and knee down. Extend the left leg back. Lift it up. Close those front ribs. Try not to roll the hip open, and then take the right arm forward. You may notice that the sides aren't equal, and you can notice you know, where the imbalances are. Reach. Bring the knee down and the hand down. So we're gonna add on. You can go back to the bent knee version, stretch both legs out, pick up the right foot, and then see if you can pick up the left arm and reach. And try to stay close. Can you close those ribs and reach? And bring the left hand down and the foot down and hold. Just tuck the ribs in and extend the left leg back and the right arm forward. And reach. Whoa. And bring the left foot down and the right hand down. Bring the right forearm down and the left forearm down. Hug in. Elbows in, chest open, breathe. And see if you can lift your left leg up and reach your right arm forward. Oof. And bring it down. Elbows in and right leg up and left arm forward. And bring it down and lower the knees Stretch the hips back to the heels. Drop the head. Child's pose. Bring the hands, tuck them into your armpits, the backs of your hands, and smush, and then flap your elbows like a chicken, up and down, stretching the wrists. Pull the belly in, tuck your chin. Use your core muscles, roll for four, up, three, and two, oh, and one. Extend your hands out. Inhale, cow pose, lift your seat up, open the chest, down dog, exhale. Press your left heel down, reach your right leg up. This can also be done with a knee down. 
close those front ribs. Bend that upper leg. Open up the hip. Press the foot. Lengthen your left side as you open that right. Flex the foot. Square the hips. Step the right foot up. Step the left foot up. Inhale, sit bones back, heart forward. Exhale, melt. Press the palms down. Squeeze the elbows, hips in, ribs in. Inhale, lift. Tailbone goes down. Side body long, reach up. Shoot your fingers way, way up. Exhale, arms down by your side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look up and step your left foot back. Right foot back, come into plank. Lower your knees, pick up your feet. Close your front ribs. Turn on your lats. Lower, slow, slow, first slow. Squeeze shoulder blades, ribs in. Plop your feet down. Roll your chest up and through. Turn on your back. Pull your chest up, squeeze your butt. Bend the knees, push back toward your heels, down up. Root your right foot, left leg up. Outer left hip back, squeeze your butt and your hamstring as you pull your left heel toward your glute. Squeeze a ball behind your left knee in your mind and then lift that left knee higher, right side longer. Flex your left foot, lift the knee, square the hips, step your left foot forward. Step your right foot forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend, fold, push the floor. Inhale, circle, rise up. Tailbone heavy, hands shoot higher. Arms down by your side. Whole body awake, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step your right foot, left foot back, plank. Turn on pelvic floor, close the ribs, claw the floor, lean forward, bend the elbows. Back is on, point your toes, up dog. Squeeze your legs, open the chest, head up, downward facing dog. Stay here, concentration, breathing. Now close the ribs, hug them in toward each other. Breathe through your nose. Inhale, lift your heels up. Exhale, bend your knees and travel up to your hands. Jump, walk, whatever you like. Inhale, open the collarbones. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, circle, rise up. Add a little back bend if it feels good. Beautiful, beautiful. Arms down by your side. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen and look up. If you want to, jump to a low push-up or alternate legs as you step back and lower. Inhale, slide forward, open your chest. Shoulder blades, exhale, downward facing dog. Make this your meditation, breathe. Even if that means going to child's pose, breathe, concentrate on that. Giving the brain the opportunity to scan. to integrate. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, travel up to your hands. Inhale, flat back. Nice, good. Squeeze shoulder blades, exhale, fold. Inhale, circle, rise up. 
Arching into the back bend if it suits you. Arms down by your side. Yeah, bring your hands to your heart. Go ahead, flat over your chest and reconnect. See if the offering that you began with still applies. Has it morphed? Has it grown? Has it shifted? Stay true to whatever is there. It's learning to listen to a different part of yourself. We're, we're run around by our head a lot of the time. So it's just tuning in to a different point, of, a wisdom point. Release your arms down by your side. Turn the palms open. Inhale, reach up. Back ribs slide toward the thumbs. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, jump or step, low push up or a variation with the knees down. Inhale, open the chest, gorgeous. Exhale, take it back. Stay, breathe. Try to even out your inhales with your exhales or even make the exhale slightly longer than the inhales. Let the whole nugget of your head go, that whole bulb, that whole tulip crown of the head go. It's very heavy to try to hold it. Gravity is upon you, lift the sits bones up. Try to separate the hips and the ribs, make that space more defined. And then close those front ribs in so the waist becomes more defined. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend the knees and travel up to your hands. Good. Inhale, lengthen, sits bones back. Exhale, fold forward. Chair pose, bending your knees, reach your arms up. Yeah, you guys, gorgeous. Drop the shoulders, reach the arms. Lean the weight more into the heels so the shins stand taller. Wrap the sits bones in to activate pelvic floor. If the arms don't like the ears here, widen them more into a goal post position. Fold forward and let it go. Inhale to find your length, sits bones back. Ex to low push up if it's okay, or we'll meet you in down dog if the joints aren't appreciating all of this. Inhale, glide forward, lift and spread the collarbones, lift your head higher. Exhale, downward dog. Good job, you guys. Right leg up high. Find your hamstrings as you squeeze your heel to your buttock and open the knee. Very good control. I see you guys are working to keep that left side long. Great job. Breathe. Close those ribs more. Square the hips. Take your right knee toward your left shoulder. Cross the body. Uh -huh. Inhale, right leg back up. Stretch it. Exhale, take the knee across the body. Find those obliques. Oh, that's so good, you guys. Inhale, kick the right leg back up. And then draw your knee to your nose, round your back, and place your right foot in the center between both hands. Gorgeous. Spin your back heel to the floor. Please come to warrior two. Turn so that your head is aligned over your chest and open the arms. Press your right knee toward the pinky toe side of the foot. And look to your back leg. We're going to evert the ankle. So you're going to roll to the ball of your left foot. Careful of your knee. You can bend it. And push down onto the big toe inside edge of your foot like you're skating off the inner edge. Push down into that and flex your ankle. Evert it. Pinky toe trying to touch the bottom of the kneecap. Now we're going to roll that sole. And careful Karen. Careful of your toe injury. Roll the sole of the foot back onto the floor and really feel the texture of your mat with the sole of the foot. Let's do it again. 
Ebert that come onto the inner edge. Pull the foot toward you, activate this inner edge line of the leg. And then push down onto the sole of the foot and really appreciate it. Lift that inner malleolus, that inner ankle bone up and then come into a proper warrior two again. Bend the knee. Reach forward, take the right forearm to the thigh and bring the left arm over the ear. This pose might, it's very familiar. Turn your right rib toward your left ribs and reach. Now let's use that back foot. Push down into the skin of that back foot, the sole of the foot. Feel how much power that amplifies that top arm forward. Add the right arm. Yeah? Use those tensile muscles, that structure all at the center. And turn without your hands. Molly Molly. Bring the right hand down, inner edge of the foot. Press against it. Press the knee into the arm, turns you more. Right shoulder blade back. Maybe that top arm goes forward again. Left arm circles down in front of the face. Both hands come between the feet. Inhale, feet parallel, look up. Exhale, walk your hands back and drop your head downward. Hug your elbows in. Firm your legs. Make them powerful, wake them up. Pushing into the soles of both feet. Let's stay here, the feet on the floor. Breathe. Take your hands behind the backs of the knees and just rub gently across the skin behind the knees. Another bladder plank. Down the calves to the ankles. Pull up on the ankles, look up. Bend the elbows wide as you fold in. Inhale, hands between the feet, look up. Walk yourself to your right foot once again. Spin up onto your left toes, step back to plank. Low push up. Inhale, upward facing. Yaw. Exhale, downward facing. Breathing here. Left leg high. Bend your knee. Can you contract your hamstrings? Can you really get them going? Can you feel that left glute? Lift the knee higher. Uh huh. Open that hip up. Open it up. Good. Square your hips. Bring your knee across to your right tricep. Awesome. And kick the leg back up. And bring it across. Can you activate those obliques? Bring it across the body. And take it back up. Extend the leg. Good. Draw the knee to the nose. Round, powerful underbelly. Left foot aims between the feet. Warrior two. Up you come. Stack the head over the chest, firm your arms, and look to your back foot. Evert the ankle, roll to the instep of that right foot and push. Squeeze the outer muscles of the leg as well by pulling the pinky toes toward your hip, toe. Uh -huh. And then roll the foot down, really saturating the skin of the sole of the foot down on the floor. And then again, roll to that inner edge, evert the ankle, and then roll it down. Now, use that as an anchor. Push down into that back foot and deepen your warrior two. Firm your outer left hip, left knee, it's open. Left buttock down, close the front ribs, look over your front hand. Reach forward, left forearm to thigh, right arm up by the ear. Push into your back foot, Accelerate momentum forward through that right side. Right arm reaches. Isometrically press your feet apart. Add the left arm. Reach. Push through the sole of that left foot. Right foot, right foot, or left. And bring the left hand down. Right arm continues reaching, or it can be up. 
Rotate left ribs to right ribs. Tailbone long. Lower back long. Bring the right arm in front of the face. Turn. Hands between the feet or interlace the hands with the chest and wrap the arms or he's a prop. Wrap the arms overhead. If the head is down, the shoulders relax more, but that should not mean that you did something weird to get your head down. It's just if it happens to be down. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Tone the leg on all sides, inner, outer, front, back. Pull your belly in. Inhale, push through the feet. Rise back up. Sun rise the arms up and over. Arms extend. Turn your left toes. Warrior two. Cartwheel the hands down, spin up onto your back toes. Plank. Make everything super strong. Bring your left forearm down. Hug the tips of the elbows in. Right forearm down. Hug them in. Breathe here. Turn on pelvic floor. Close the ribs. Tighten everything. Walk your feet up. Dolphin. Press your chest back toward your legs. Lift your seat. Look forward, lean toward your hands, straighten both arms at the same time. Do it again. Bring both elbows down. Press your chest back, drop your head. Look forward, lean halfway toward your hands, pick both elbows up. Down, up. Shake out the head. Lift the right leg up. Open up the hips. Straight leg. Open toe. Square the hips. Draw the knee forward. Plant the right foot between the hands. Warrior two. Inhale. Open. Straight in front leg. Reach forward. Flip your right palm up. Reach your right arm up by your right ear. Lean your hips forward. Arm back. And Shrikanasana, right side, so long. Right hand just slides easily down. Left arm up. Shoulder blade squeeze. Close those front ribs. Tailbone long. Turn right ribs toward left ribs. Right shoulder back. Reach your arms apart. Touch the ceiling. Touch the floor. Yeah. Reach your top arm over your ear. Spiral it overhead, bend the right knee. Straight left leg, right arm up to the ceiling. Pull left shoulder blade on the back, left ribs to right ribs. Super twist. Right hand comes down to the floor. Straighten both legs. Hold over your front shin. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, bow. Rotate your body over that right leg. Bend your front knee. Keep the torso in the leg touching. Just lift your left toes to the ceiling. Folding forward here. Lift your leg. Use your glutes. Reach those toes up. Reach them up. And then plant that left foot down, bend the knees, chair. Inhale, reach the arms high, stretch. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen and look up. Exhale, low push up. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, beautiful, downward facing. Left leg up. Keep the leg straight, open up the hip. Finley really wants you guys to bend to point your toe here. I really don't, but she wanted me to share that with you. You can flex it or point it, whatever feels right. I would have said flexion. Hug your right hip in, open that left hip. Christine, close the front ribs more if you can. Try to suck them into it, yeah. 
feel that? It's such a cincher. And then square the hips, step your left foot between your hands. Warrior two. Yeah, good, sorry, I was gonna say that. Front foot, really feel the soles of the feet down and then Karen, squeeze that outer left hip up slightly. Good. Flip your left palm up and start to straighten your front leg. Yeah, push through the ball of that foot. Beautiful arches, you guys. Squeeze your hips in, reverse warrior Sally. Take that left palm up and reverse. Beautiful, straighten that front leg so it's reverse triangle. Carlton, turn your left toes a little to the left if you can. Pull up on your kneecaps. Yeah, stretch it. Stretch it. Nice, Sharon. And then left arm long. Triangle. Can you take your left side so far forward that your torso is an equal sign? We work the side body so much. You guys are like nodding. Yes, I can. And open your arms up. Left shoulder blade on the back. Open the chest. Good. Mary, turn left ribs toward right ribs. Left ribs toward right ribs. Good, now cinch those ribs and reach through your middle fingers. Karen, lift the head just slightly like the, yes, good, good. Squeeze your ribs open, beautiful. Uh huh. And turn over your front leg, fold forward. Did we do that? I don't know. Turn over your front leg, spin up, and, oh yeah, come back into, thank you, Christine. So your left leg is forward here. So turn over your front leg, right hand down, left arm, high twist. Squeeze your hips in toward each other, back leg strong, right ribs toward left ribs twist. Left hand comes down and straighten both legs, drop your head. Rotate your trunk over your left leg. Really humble here, just your nose, you can bend the front knee, Rest your forehead, rest your nose on your leg. Now keep yourself velcro to that front leg. Bend the knee, stay stuck to the leg, drag your right toes forward. Use your muscles in your lower body, lift the right toes up. Reach to that right leg, extend. Reach to the right toes, extend. Reach, extend. And lower the right foot next to the left. Nice, good, strong glute. Inhale, lift the chest. Step your left foot back. Lower your knee. Pat it up. Lower your back knee. A little farther back, so behind the hip. Stretch your front leg straight. Pull your heart forward. And take your right leg a little farther forward. Pull your belly in. Squeeze your legs toward each other. Feel the hamstrings, yeah? Lift the chest, close the ribs, Ugh. feel that tone. Maybe start to go deeper toward Hanuma. Start to stretch both legs apart, just to where you feel you can be safely. Maybe you slide a block under your seat or under your hamstring. Come on to fingertips, squeeze legs toward each other, lift the chest up. Maybe you relax forward over the leg. And come back up if you fold it forward. You're going to bend your back knee again so it's on the floor and ease yourself back into the half version. Lift here, bend the front knee, reacquainting muscles to bones, so they grip the skin. Push forward onto that front foot, step back foot up. Inhale, lift, and stretch into a forward fold. Shake out your head. I'm gonna fix my mat, because it got all locked up. And then I'm coming back to the front of my mat, stepping the opposite foot back, the right one. I think, yeah, I'm patting the back knee again. Back knee down, straighten the left leg. Lift onto the fingertips. So my habit is to have the tail kind of retract here. I wanna stick out the tailbone, stick out the sits bones and get into that 
part of that upper hamstring. And then walk that right knee a little farther back and a little farther back. And maybe this is good right here, scissoring the legs. You still, you always want to be able to activate the muscles. If you get to a point where you can't, you've gone too far. And then contract everything in and then maybe start to press the feet apart. You could use a block as a support system here. Lifting up, squeezing everything in. A back bend can feel good. Getting a nice deep psoas stretch. And a forward bend can feel good. Or it might just all feel brutal. Wrapping hips in, ribs in. Pressing feet apart actively. Breath is super helpful. Inhale, find a way to lift back up. Drag yourself back into that half version. Bend the front knee, finding the muscles again. I'm gonna fix my mat. And now I'm gonna bend the back knee, come on to my right shin. That was a bit of a tricky thing. So I bent my back knee, I kicked my kickstand to my right foot back, and I'm gonna stand up onto my right shin. I still have my block, maybe you do too. I'm gonna to put it down outside my right hip. Put my hand on it. I'm gonna reach that left arm up and over to the right. I'm now realizing I don't like the block there at all. So I'm gonna bring my hand down because I need that range. And I'm twisting here, right ribs to left ribs. Right shoulder blade on the back, reach. Left hand sweeps in front. My butt goes back to my right heel. I'm in a half side split and I fold. So the stretch is on that inner left groin. Come back up onto the shin. Now I'm going to take my time here. If you're concerned at all, hold behind the left knee. Use your hand to collapse the shin back. Stand up onto that left shin. Pull the belly in to rise. Right leg goes out to the side. You can have the block outside your left hip. Make yourself flat here. Tuck tailbone, cinch the ribs, reach both arms up. Lean over to your left, block maybe or no block. Right arm over the ear. Press down through the sole of that right foot. Re really um, introduce the feeling of the foot to the floor today. And then squeeze the shoulder blades. And reach, tailbone under, ribs closed, reach it. And then circle the right arm in front of the face. Sit the hips back, come into the side split here. Just one leg. Mm. Lift back up onto the shin, bring your foot in and sit to your butt. You can sit on a block, bend both knees, or not sit on a block, either way, bend both knees, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold and cradle your front body on your leg. Really like bend the knees, hold your torso, wrap, your um, wrap, so the arms go behind the legs, through, so that the wrists cross, and drop the head. Then move back onto your sits bones, and hold the front of the shins, sit back. So I'll turn to the side so you can see what's happening. I'm holding and I'm rounding here, getting really some super traction in my flexion. Spreading shoulder blades. It's so good. Uh -huh. Chin is tucked. Inhale, pull the torso up, lift the chin. Switch the cross of the wrists. Round forward again. Hollow the belly. Pronate the, pull the shoulders apart. 
protect, protection is the word I'm looking for. And then inhale, lift and arch, lift the chin up. And exhale, release carefully. Hands go forward, roll down slowly. Continuing into that little ball, hug the knees in. Take your knees, widen them into the creases of the elbows and rock here. Interlace the fingers. Knees are in the elbows, so it's a child, it's a rocking child's pose on your back. <sighs> this is the oldie, classic. Knees are in the creases of the elbows. Then you lift your feet, hold the outer edges of the feet, tailbone unfurls onto the floor. Press the feet into the hands and the hands into the feet and pull the top thighs to the floor. Massage your sacrum. Let the sacrum be super heavy. Press your feet toward the ceiling. Pull your hands and feel the stomach turn on. Then keep your legs where they are. Release your feet. Push the hands toward the ceiling. Press the feet toward the ceiling. Really feel your stomach turn on. And then take your hands behind your head. Bring your knees slightly forward over your hips. Little sit-ups here. Elbows wide. Cinch the ribs in. 10, 9, 8. Look up toward the ceiling. 5, 4, 3, 2. Let's add a twist. Stretch your left leg long, turn to the right, widen your elbows apart. Inhale, draw the legs in. Exhale, right leg goes long, turn to your left, elbows go wide, press through those right toes. Inhale to the center. Exhale, woo! Super slow, like moving through honey. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center, really hold your head. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale to the center. Reach both arms forward as both legs come up. Squeeze the legs or bring the hands under the butt or support the head or arms are forward. Lower the feet one third of the way. Scissor the legs here. Cross, cross, cross. Little ballet sit up. Cross, cross, cross. And then another third. Scissor the legs. And then just above the floor, 10, 9, 8, crossing, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, lower. Reach out through your feet, reach back through your arms. Lengthen the whole body. Push out through the soles of the feet, out through the palms of the hands. Snow angel. Bunch of times. Snow angel. Lots of room. Hopefully you're not smacking your people who live in your house. It's no angel. Snow angel. I wish we had paint. So we could just make these snow angel paintings on the floor. And take your hands behind your head. Hold your head. And move your head from side to side. <laughs> Lower your head down slowly. <sighs> Now, bring your arms down at like a, on a diagonal. Tuck your shoulders under you, push your palms into the floor. Push your heels into the floor. Turn on your back. So press your shoulders down, press your heels down, and then lift everything up off the ground that you can. So just arc up, pull, five, squeeze everything tightly, drop everything in, but keep the butt up, four, three, two, bring it down. Lily was talking about London Bridges at the beginning, Christine's daughter. So like a London Bridge, I don't know how high London Bridge is, but we're pretty low, but a bridge. One more time, inhale. Exhale, lift everything up. Contract everything in. Hug in five, four, activate it all, three, two, and let it go. And start to move toward your rest. Take a deep breath. And sigh it out. <sighs>
Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Roll your limbs in and out if there's any stress left in them. And then let go. Take one more deep breath in. Fill all the way to the top, all the space that you've made. And exhale all the way to the bottom. Let the eyes move toward the back of the skull. Let the front body release into the back body. And release the back body to the earth. And let go. In spiritual circles, there's so much emphasis placed on ascension and the higher chakras. I think where it's at is really the connection to the earth. Giving the body the chance to release into the earth. When I was last in Hawaii, I, I read the story of the healer whose um, students would plant in a garden. And what they learned when they planted, and this is, I think, all children, but this particular story is through this lens. Um, they know when they plant to not stand in the shot, to not be in the sun, in the way of the sun. So they stand so that their shadow won't block the sun when they plant the seed. All we have to do is get out of the way and natural growth happens. Plant yourself now like a seed. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Draw your left knee in, reach your right arm back, roll to your right side, curl into a little ball, <laughs> and breathe into your back. Feel your back inflate like a little seed about to send its first shoot up through the ground. Soaking up those last bits of being in this deep, deep rooted safe space. And then slowly press yourself up like you're poking your head up out of the earth, coming into a seat and reaching your arms up. Look up toward that sun like you're asking to grow. Exhale. Welcome in the light. Bring the hands down, let the thumbs press into the forehead, let the thumbs come to the heart. 
Let the head drop into the heart space. Check in with that offering that you found in the beginning and does it still suit you? Has it morphed? Has it grown? And whatever prayer, whatever gift lives in the heart right now, move that through all the resonators of the body. The sound of OM connects the three brains of the body. We'll take it together. Inhale. We'll exhale all the air up. And inhale for OM. Inhale. Ooh. Now lift your thumbs to your mind. Thumbs go to forehead center. Realign. Bow forward to the light. Today is Earth Day. Be grateful to this Mother Earth. Connect to the Mother Earth today. Let it, let yourself remember from where you came. Remember to say thank you. Namaste. Thanks, you guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, that was great. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah, see you tomorrow. I'm gonna stay on for a little bit, so if you wanna stay, stay. Um, otherwise, I'll see you in the morning. Thank you. Bye, Carlton. Bye, Bye Mary, hi. You guys, please uh, send me feedback, whatever you need me to know, write me. And I sent you guys the class yesterday. I don't know if you got it. I sent it. Christine, I might have forgot to send it. I'll send it. Um, okay. And if you're ready, let's see. We're just going to meditate for a little bit. And I don't know about where you are, but where I am, the birds are so loud and beautiful. Imagine that inside your heart, um, a little, little pair of lungs, and that you could breathe from inside the heart. So drop into the space of your heart and imagine whatever you'd like, but imagine that the breath begins there. and that that breath is expanding. And that your actual lungs, as they start to notice the heart as if it were breathing, they decide to join in and help. They're like, yeah, good idea. And the breath inside the heart expands even more as the lungs participate like a chorus. And you can feel the chest begin to expand and widen.
And you can imagine a light inside your chest growing brighter. And in the side of the ribs and in the back. And the ribs that protect the heart, they start to become fans. And the vents open and close to facilitate this breath. So less like armor and more as facilitators, they help your breath to expand and open. And then raise the arms up, bend the elbows, and open the chest, roll it up toward the sky. Head goes back, feel that expansion of the chest. Exhale and pin the elbows together, but you don't have to fold forward. Squeeze the elbows, feel those muscles engage, the serratus interior and anterior, interior. And then inhale, open here. Let the chest open and expand. And exhale, closing the elbows. Inhale and open. Open the eyes and make little bird claws with your hands and then bring those claws into the lung point right under the collarbones at the chest and press those little beaks and rub the lungs here, first lung point, and then rub to the kidney point right at the inner tips of the collarbones, and then under the collarbones, drop the fingers down and rub. It's gonna be sore there, maybe. And then continue outward toward the lung point right here, and press with those little beaks. And then breathe again and notice how much the lungs love that point. And then bring two fingers over each eye and press softly. And if you are holding on to any anxiety, any fears, just watch as the body settles into a still point. And even if it's just one place of stillness, notice it, relax your hands down to your lap and move that still point to one other point. So if you can find that drop of peace, can you navigate that drop somewhere where there isn't peace? So maybe that's your mind, maybe that's your hip, maybe that's your back. And can you imagine that drop of peace as it moves into that place where there lacks peace? Imagine it doing whatever needs to be done to integrate that part of you into the whole. And maybe there's one more part of you that that peace drop can go to, spread to. And then connect those two places back into the heart. And wherever those, the heart and those two other places are, imagine a triangle there linking those three spots. And then bring your attention back into the heart. See that pilot light again, imagine it, feel it, sense it. And pulsing in that pilot light, 
Bring your hands there. The hands are the messengers of the heart. So let the hands just soak up whatever message is there. And let everything you touch today be an expression of your heart. Everything you make, everything you create, everything you do, let it be in service of your heart. Thank you so much, you guys. I hope you have a great blessed day and I'll see you in the morning. Thank you. Bye, 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 bye.